The more things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Use Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. seeing this before a long time ago Ethan and his parents and I'm guessing that's his sister he always thought they'd run the bar together I doubt Ethan's account somehow led to the blood on my shirt here last night. First, look around, figure out what happened. I ended up drinking alone. So who brought that second glass? These were sent scattering. Someone thrown into them? Ripped. Did this happen yesterday or was it always like that? It might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night. What knocked this clock off the pillar? Almost beat his score this time. Maybe one day. Ugh. Did I do this? Sorry, Nick. It seems there was a fight. It could explain the blood on my shirt. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. 
What a mess. Hope this wasn't me. Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. Could be the same blood that was on my shirt. The pot was completely shattered. Looked like it might have been kicked. The flowers are ruined. Looks like they were knocked over, then stepped on. DG. Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? Wouldn't surprise me. Joel's hat. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Just gotta think it through. At least I can always count on this place to make sense. Now to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, find out what really happened. My memory ends here, but there's two glasses. Who was here with me? I was drinking on my own, and someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight. Obviously. figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Broken glass, damaged seat. It's possible the fight made its way over here. It looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. That could be it, but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. Pharmacist's business card. Hope I didn't start picking on the elderly. That can't be right. It doesn't match the damage done to the room. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. This doesn't fit with the thing I found. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. I have the complete picture now. You know, 
The man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. Who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch who... about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. Not here. Sam. Meet me later at Sam. the Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, tell him you're here to apologize about last night. You trashed up his bar and then broke in. Time to leave if you're leaving. You'll want to apologize, trust me. God damn. Sam? You're, you're not here to rob me, right? Ethan, I, uh... No, I'm not here to rob you. Oh, good. I won't have to break your legs. I'm here to apologize about last night. Ah, uh, I thought that might be the case. Don't sweat it. This place gets busted up once a month. Sounds rough. I guess. It's, it is what it is. Buy a bar, you gotta run a bar, you know? I'll take cleaning up your dumbass mess over dealing with family any day. Family, huh? That's my sister, Celeste. She uh, dropped out of school and is living in some commune called The Cove. She wants to be called Kayla now. It's her life. Yeah, and it's my choice to be pissed she's ruining it. Look, Sam, we're fine. This is fine, but, uh, get the hell out of my bar, okay? I got places to be anyways. See you around, Ethan. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone. No answer. So what now? Ask around, see if anyone's seen Dennis today. Maybe see if anything jogs my memory. I've heard worse plans. Small. If Dennis came through main streets. Someone saw him. Never knew Dennis to be the commemorative type. What's he doing here? Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. <laughs> 
I heard you asking about my dad last night. Well, I guess I wasn't very subtle, was I? No, you were not. <laughs> Did you find out anything about my dad? Not yet. Not really, at least. Let me know if you find anything, please. I feel like I need something. It's just this town, you know? This place, it feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe, I can't think, I can't stand my mom. I don't like school, well, except for science. And just, when I imagine myself in the future, I just don't, I don't know. I don't see this place or these people. I'm somewhere else, anywhere else. I know it's stupid, just. It's not stupid. If you want, you can go anywhere in the world. Have adventures, fall in love. I mean, that's what I've been told anyway. Gross. Okay, well that other stuff sounds okay though. Thanks for listening. I got grown up stuff I gotta do. I've got kid stuff I gotta see about. So we're both busy. It's tough seeing her like this. It seems she got older by six years and just two. Joe. Sam? You old bridge jumper, how you been? What's the calendar say? Two years, Joe. It's been two years. Too long. I heard you showed up yesterday. Boys give you trouble? <laughs> they might have given me a bit of a welcome back. After the mine closed, well, it ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, you probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I could just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. The yeah, cripple takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but I like to come out, see the decorations, pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. I have places I need to be, but it's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Joe has no idea where Dennis went. Someone must have seen him after the fight. Drowned six men. Basswood's mining started with an accident. Fitting. Never forget, huh? Hey, can I ask you something? Hello, young man. Of course you can ask. No promise answered. Why do you bother cleaning the memorial? Well. Everything has to look its best for today, especially the miner. I really didn't think it was going to happen this year. 
Good thing Mr. Kirkland decided to help out. And besides, that way people can remember with pride we used to be rednecks. And that matters to you? It should matter to every West Virginian. And why do you think it should matter so much? How many West Virginians does it take to screw in a light bulb? This doesn't sound like a history lesson. You answer my question, I'll answer yours. So, how many West Virginians? Two. One to hold the light bulb, the other to rotate the planet. <laughs> not bad. The one I have in store is three. One to replace the light bulb, two to complain about how the old one was better. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, just not the kind of funny you laugh at. So, you still want to hear the story? I'm all ears. This fella here is a reminder of when coal miners stood together. You see, back a hundred years ago, you'd be safer in the trenches than down in the mines. He didn't sit right with our boys. They demanded better conditions. Of course, the corporations, being what they are, refused, and sent strike breakers. The mine wars. Miners came out in force, union men. At the strike breakers over in Logan County. That's right. 10,000 strong. And it all came to a head at Blair Mountain. The miners tied red bandanas around their necks for solidarity, brotherhood. At least a hundred men died in that battle. Blood spilled for what we have now. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time to remind me. I hope you have a good miner's day. Oh, I will. Always do. <laughs> you take care now. This is new. Domations. Now that's the bass what I remember. I couldn't imagine Walter had obituaries in mind when he became editor-in-chief. Hey, don't remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? I was born in Basswood. I was raised in Basswood, though I left for a few years. When you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. I can barely get by, like everyone else here. Too poor to stay, too poor to leave. Somehow, I don't think the town's recent history will be included. Fine with me. Remember when this whole celebration used to be twice as big? Back when this town wasn't just a dead horse we all keep kicking. Why do we even bother with this old place? It's like a ghost town sometimes, except ghosts haven't bothered leaving. I've gone and made a bit of a mess. Oh, Sam, is that you? Dear, please, could you help an old doddering woman? You are many things, but not doddering. Plotting, maybe. Sam, you shouldn't say such things, even if they're true. Thank you so much. You're always such a dear. Say, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, 
Likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it, oh dear. Now, I know you want to interrupt her, because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths. Yeah, well, uh, speaking of the... Poor Joan, losing her father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and... Well, far from me to criticize or anything, but these last few months, Kathy hasn't been all there, if you know what I mean. Well, hopefully this tragedy will be a wake-up call for her to be more present. She should take a few weeks off to be with Joan. I know you would never refuse. Don't you agree? Yeah, of course. I'm sure if poor Kathy would only ask him for the time... Ah, uh, but look at me. I talk and talk and talk, but you had something to say, didn't you? Have you seen Dennis today? Dennis? No, it's odd, actually. He usually stops in here Sunday mornings. Like how you and Nick used to come over from the paper with Anna every Friday. The three always seem so happy. Oh, but you, Sam, how have you been doing? It's been, well, you know cruise control? I've been on cruise control. You might miss it once it's gone. Life rarely lets you coast for long. You look well. I've been better. Hung over this morning. You know what's good for that? Coffee. I know, Christina. Not right now. I gotta go. Not very inspired. <laughs> That's a good one. Hey man, thought I knew everyone, but I don't know you. I used to be a regular a few years ago. Oh right, you're one of those who skipped town when the mine closed down. You could say that, yes. Town ain't changed much since then. Same old boring basswood. I know most people hate that, but I don't. It's quiet here. It's nice. So quiet, there's no rush hour, I guess. Right? Yo, get out the way! You move. I'm the one coming in. Shh, fuck you. That's enough! <laughs> Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. Reminds me of a girl I met. She could only eat chips when she had stomach aches. Oh, Sam, you here to pick up something for your uh, condition? I have a condition? Yeah, the one that makes you the way you're always so you. It's all right, of course. I won't tell anyone. I think I might actually have leaky gut. It's where your intestine starts to dissolve. 
and your half-digested food starts to leak out into your blood. I'm trying to find something for it, and if it doesn't help, it can't hurt. I'm glad someone took over this old drugstore. Can you imagine? This town without a pharmacy would be like, well, me with a hole in my gut. <laughs> I'll just check the internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. It was nice talking to you, Tara. Oh, yes. <laughs> Always. Ah, oh, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly. <laughs> I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Yeah, and I have quite a hangover to show for it. <sighs> not my finest hour. I would say not. After your barroom brawl, I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And I tried to get you to hand over your keys, but you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. My writing has done a lot of things to this town, but good isn't one of them. I disagree. The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. Thanks for saying that. I'd offer you something for that hangover, but I find in some cases, time is the best medicine. My mom used to say that all the time. Now she only says it a lot. Sounds like a wise woman. Listen to her advice. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? I'll stop bothering you. I need to get going anyways. Not a bother at all. It's always a pleasure. Do come see me again. Bug made that for Mother's Day years ago, and Kathy still keeps it with her. Hey, Kathy. Yo, oh, Sam. What can I do you for? So, the wake, I, um... Uh, none of us were on our best behavior. Nick would have been happy you showed up, no matter how anything else went. I left early myself to go check on Joan. Did you have to say that fantasy about her father being murdered was real? That's not what I... I just want her to be a little girl, not a little Sam Higgs. Sneaking around and getting into trouble. And now all she can talk about is how you're going to prove that she's right. Sorry. I know it's not your fault, but I just don't... I don't... I don't know what to do with her. She's my daughter. And I feel like I'm losing her. I gotta go. If the boss sees me John instead of working, I'll get an earful. No one in here was much help. Perfect toy for a kid who only had imaginary friends. Now, I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. 
People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you had to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understanding, polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig or fascist just for doing your job. Then they go and do things like deface the whole town. And I'm the asshole? It could get under your skin. Where's, where's you at day after day? It grinds you down. It makes you feel like you've been lifting logs all day. Yeah, sorry about that. I went off for a spell. Just remember, this town don't always respect the things you do. Trust me, I know. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. Huh. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. Betting there'll be a few more cups before she leaves. <laughs> Some things never change. Sam, I didn't think you'd actually show up. I didn't think I would either. But hey, sometimes we surprise ourselves. So, uh, I hear you got in a fight after I left the wake? Honestly, if it happened again, I'd have hit him again. He was asking for it. That does sound like Dennis. Yeah, speaking of, you haven't seen him today, have you? Why? Afraid your powerful blows laid him up? <laughs> so, what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on an article on how nature does its best to reclaim the land after a strip mining operation. Why are you looking for Dennis? I can tell something has you spooked. I can always tell. Go on, tell her. You could honestly use a non-imaginary person to confide in. She might slow me down, or try to involve the cops. She might do those things, yes, or she might be someone who you can trust, who can help. up today and my shirt was covered in blood. Blood? What happened? I don't know. Last night pills and alcohol mixed. It's all a blur. That's why I'm looking for Dennis. Have you tried the basswood jungle? He likes to work weekends. No, not yet. I'll do that right now. Sam, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, uh, nah. I'm just gonna... Do my own thing. <laughs> oh, Sam, what have you done? Samuel, Samuel, my young soul, are you still haunting this pallid town? 
I'm not gonna stay a moment longer than I have to, Walter. Trust me. Oh, I trust you. Don't rush off on my account. It's nice having you. It just hasn't been a very good visit. You know, I'm glad I ran into you. If I may bend your ear for a moment. I've been thinking lately about age, life, the turn of the clock. No one gets sharper with age. When do you think it's time to hang up the saddle? A true cowboy rides until the last day they can ride. I had a feeling you'd say that. I have a lot to think about. Thank you for your ear, but soon I must have sconed. Sunday lunch with Mother is sacred. Call on me any time, young Samuel. Any time. I've got a lot to think about, my boy. A lot to think about. At least the basswood jungle is still standing. It's not worth it. No one works on a Sunday. Well, no one except me. Locked. I should check the back. My, my, my. Look what we got here. Is that Sam Higgs? Trying to get back in the newspaper game? I thought you got the message last night. Of course, it was hard to tell. Considering you let Declan do your talking for you. Look, fellas. You know, basswood can be a dangerous place. Well, so maybe consider just getting before something bad happened to you. Trust me, I'll be out of here as soon as I can. Good. De Declan's right down the street. Watch yourself while you're in Basswood, because we'll be watching you. place used to be my home, or at least felt like it. Where is Dennis? He should be in here. Dennis! Dennis. What happened? Who, 